Hi, my name is Melanie Ho, and I'm a consultant from Professional Advantage. And today, I am going to show you within Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 some of the new features in the Fixed Assets module. If you require multiple calendars to be set up in the Fixed Assets module, use the Fixed Assets calendar setup. Once you've set up at least one calendar ID, you can choose the financial year and you can choose certain options to build the calendar or to create quarters. This can be done per calendar ID. Once you have completed that, at least one calendar ID must be assigned to a book ID. Once depreciation has posted for the book ID, the both the calendar ID and the current fiscal field become grayed out. In prior versions of Grey Plains, to reverse depreciation for all your assets, you could only do this one asset at a time. In GP2013, you can now do mass reversal of depreciation by going to the routine section and using the same depreciate window. And what you'll notice is a reverse depreciation tick box, which you would tick. And the date you enter here would be one of the dates where depreciation has already been performed. The look of the GL posting window in GP2013 has changed. The posting date, reference and the from and to period fields remain the same. Once you have completed these fields, you will click the process button and this will display all the entries that will be assigned to this batch ID. The advantage of using this window is you can see the account numbers set up against the assets. If an account number is incorrect, you can immediately change it like I'm doing right now. Please note, by changing the account number here, it will not automatically update the account on the asset ID. That will still have to be done manually. Once you have confirmed all the entries, you would then click the post button and that would create a batch in the financial module to be posted. To view posted fixed assets journals, you would go to the inquiry section, click the batches window and in the lookup it will display all the batch IDs that have already posted for the fixed assets. Once you've selected a batch ID, you can then choose to print the report. In GP2013, they have made a change to the fixed assets depreciation report. You can now print depreciation for historical periods. That was some of many new features in GP2013. If you would like to learn more about what GP2013 has to offer, please head to our website for more information and videos. Thank you.